right, guys. Welcome back to S. Chamberlain 5150's YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while since I did an update. We are still making Bag of Racing League happen. Um, just been thrashing, going crazy. Uh, didn't really record enough of uh, the bike rebuild, but if y'all follow me on Instagram, S. Chamberlain 5150, or TikTok, S. Chamberlain 5150. Um, I got a, a Facebook page that's S Chamberlain 5150. Get the picture. Um, I kind of just put update progress all over the board, so you just got to follow it all. So take a second right now, go follow all those accounts if you want to, you know, stay up to date. So we got the bike. We got it in the van. Bottom end. I didn't have time to send 
this thing out and you know wait for a bottom end to to get all converted and all crazy stuff like we i don't know by the time i pulled it out we rebuilt the motor in a couple days all the parts are sitting there and we got it going but and i can't forget to say that big thanks from mark from texas performance for assembling the motor for me um you know working on a million things he uh dropped what he could do and we did it pretty much assembled it the night before thanksgiving so he didn't take up any uh customer's time he worked it late in the shop and uh you know so i, I really i truly appreciate it with him and then he helped me uh set it in the bike you know then he was busy with his own thing so we got it all wrapped up um got it running but big thanks to him So that was a killer time. A um, bunch of awesome names in the industry. You know, a lot of the people flew up. So Texas, Indianapolis, Milwaukee, and then BRL is in Sonoma, California. So we, we've been road tripping from Milwaukee. We're doing the solo. Uh, hopefully I have some help at, uh, at the races to like get it off the stands. I don't know, it's kind of been like a whole solo adventure with this and everything. Um, so we're just trying our best, we're, we're making some stuff happen. We just crossed into Utah a little bit ago, but I think I'm gonna, um, I kind of Googled where uh, Tucker Speed, um, if you don't follow Tucker Speed, he's in my class, Tony from Tucker Speed is in my class with this bagger. Um, he's got a pretty rad little TikTok, they put some cool videos up, he's got a YouTube channel, I mean, like, he's in Sturgis, he's 
flew out and did uh, the Fast Life uh, podcast with my buddy Jace not too long ago. Recently did one of those. Uh, Tony's all over the scene too, so I didn't really tell him. I think I'm about a hundred and some miles out from uh, his shop, and uh, we're gonna go pop in there and see uh, what the competition's like. So, not gonna end this video right here. We're gonna throw Tony in it. So, stay tuned. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in Sonoma, December 10 to 12. Um, the actual race on the 12th will be live streamed through Fight TV. Um, if you have any questions on information, go to baggerracingleague.com. Go to Bagger Racing League's Instagram. Um, I'm gonna be honestly, I'm gonna be pretty busy, so I won't be able to get to all the questions. You know, uh, I'll try my best. But yeah, I'm excited. A couple little changes to the bike, you know. Um, I'll show you when I get it unloaded. It's dope. Thanks. So we got Tony over here from uh, Tucker Speed. Uh, I know you guys have seen this bike all over the gram. He has it on TikTok, um, you know, and then you also have a YouTube channel, you YouTube know, channel, yeah. and everything. It's all over Instagram, so yeah. Yeah, so we were coming through uh, like Salt Lake City area. He's up in, how do you say it, Ogden? Uh, Ogden. Ogden, Ogden. Um, about 30 minutes north of Salt Lake City. And man, he's got a sweet shop. This is my first time ever being in this shop. Uh, the amount of stuff that he's got up front, you know, on the shelf, um, everything. So if you're in the Salt Lake City area, you know, definitely come out Tucker Speed. Um, he's going to be doing the Bagger Racing League with us this weekend. He says he's just about ready. Um, just a couple little things to wrap up. But what all did you change on the bike since the last? Since the last round, the big change was just uh, raising the bike up about two inches overall. It was uh, really all I changed. Uh, made some custom blocks with the swing arm, picked it up. I built my forks tall originally, but I had them sunk up in the tree, so I was just able to then take the whole bike up about two inches. That's the big changes. Then a few little odds and ends here and there. Yeah, because even with a bike this tall, you know, he was still grinding the old primary and, you know, what, you touching the pegs? Yeah, touch the yeah pegs touching bit, the yeah. peg a little bit with the mids. So I'm excited. Uh, Tony got fourth place last time yeah. just barely fourth almost there you yeah, and you and uh wheelie pig were battling it yeah. out so yeah, it was a good battle. i'm excited to see uh this bike on the track and to share it with them and yeah I'll give you a little tour of the shop guys so we just left tony's shop tony tucker tucker speed up in uh ogen ogen i don't know he said it earlier uh, just north of salt lake city so if you're in that area go check out his shop he keeps a ton of cool spark parts on his shelf uh you can see the simpson helmets flow motorsports pegs um abundance of tires you know so always keep that in mind if you're in that area go check his shop out he's got some uh, badass bikes he builds and we're going to continue on
caught up. 